Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the UJAM Virtual Guitarist Amber. This is an acoustic guitar library. It's got a lot of strumming patterns and phrases. It's mostly going to be for rhythm playing and it's got chords as opposed to say single notes. So before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, everyone. So here we have Virtual Guitarist Amber. This is from UJAM. It's a standalone VST AU AAX plugin. So no other sampler is required for this one. As you can see, we have a variety of different styles over here. So in these lower keys here, if I look at my piano roll, the lower keys down here are going to change the phrase C1 to C2. And then up in C3, we're going to have these different style phrases. So we have, they're classified as common phrases, style phrases, and then C4 and up is going to be the chords. Now you see here that if I enable latch mode, that I can just hit those chords once. So if I hit this, it'll be a C major. And you'll notice as I click a new key down here, the pattern is changing slightly. You have some endings there. So I hit the D going up to D major, and then again, changing the different styles, the phrases up here. So let's check out this pattern that I'm kind of playing here. This is the style of straight quarters. There are different options here to change the tone of it. And then we can enable or disable the fret noise. There's a button for low tune. And then there's a button for doubling. You'll notice this one is very mono and center. If I enable the doubling, it gets a bit more stereo, a bit more in-depth. So now it's double tracked like you would record in a studio. So my favorite sound is the warm, full, or flat. The bright and the crisp are a little bit too bright for me, but again, those will cut through a mix better, especially the crisp. It has a higher, um, more shimmering top end. Speaking of shimmer, you can also use this to adjust the top end and add that treble. It's kind of like a, almost like a low frequency, a low pass filter. It really opens up the top end as you raise that. I like keeping that right there in the middle. You have chorus, reverb, the volume. And then this is interesting, the source here. Uh, we can have like a mic'd guitar sound, or we can have it from the guitar, like an acoustic electric uh, pickups that would be either in the sound hole or in, you know, inside of the guitar, which will give you a very different sound. You can have a mix of both, and then you can split it. So have one, the left channel mic'd, and the right channel as the pickup. So let's listen to those because they're very different sounds.
So my favorite is the mix or the mic. The, the pickup, again, it gives a very different, more, just you hear more of the strings and everything. It sounds, again, different. So if you want to mix them, that's actually my favorite. So we can also um, adjust the swing, the feel of it, and you see I have a little bit towards the pull side. Now the swing, of course, you'll notice a lot if we have something that's straight 16th notes like this. So again, when you really kind of raise the swing up to 100, it's going to not sound so good. The key to using the swing control is to just do it slightly, and it gets just a slight swing feel to it, and you can adjust that feel. I like when it's a little bit to the pull side and the swing just, you know, very low, maybe around 25%, give or take. So these are the different styles as well, or the different presets we have here. And we'll check out a few of them here. <laughs> 